Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Liz Nicole. And as you can tell by the description, I am, you know, basically to answer 15 questions on the hair industry. I put up uh, my Snapchat and my Facebook to ask people to inbox and snap me, you know, questions they always wanted to ask me. And, you know, just my opinion on the hair business, period. I run a small business named Most Popular Hair Extensions. I lead a... Um, the link down in the description to be able so y'all could be able to go and you know get you some bundles bro. get you some hair honey get you some hair get into it anyways um i'm about to answer the top 15 questions about the you know my personal experience of the hair business and i just i'm gonna I'm be you know i'm gonna be as raw as possible this 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 i can't get no realer than this i ain't i ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing I'm going to keep it a whole book with y'all. I'm going to give y'all a little backstory on me. You know, so y'all can, I can have y'all filled in on why I feel, why I feel, or why, why I do the stuff that I do. If you, if you, well, if you from Memphis, Tennessee, where I grew up at, you know that, um, I went to Woodale High School. I, um, I graduated 2015. I'm currently 20 years old. I'll be 21 in June. Right now it's March. I'd be 21 in June, and throughout my whole life, I done had five jobs. Sonic, Dixie Queen, if you from Memphis, you know Dixie Queen. Uh, at the Dixie Queen, I worked at a warehouse. After the warehouse, I worked at Chicken Coop. After the Chicken Coop, I worked one day at another warehouse. After that, that was my last day of working. My last day of working. Y'all. By the time I get done with this video, y'all gonna be able to, you know, understand why I feel the way I feel and why I say the stuff I say as far as being your own boss. It, it, yeah, it, it don't get no sweeter than this. I'm finna explain to y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get into these questions and, you know, give y'all a little, um, give y'all a rundown on what I feel and my personal experience my personal experience i'm gonna say this again I'm a, my personal experience i don't know about nobody else i don't know about them i don't know about them i'm gonna give y'all my experience on selling her you know just, just just all the pros and cons that come with it i'm gonna try to make this video as fast as possible and yeah so my first question is what makes you want to get into the her business i started off selling her for my auntie she brought the idea to me, asked me to be her partner and her ambassador. I was working. Yes, ma'am. What we doing? What we need to do? Uh-huh. Um, I just, uh, they asked, what was it hard to start? No, it, it wasn't hard at all. Like, I'm on, I'm vibrant. I like to change my hair. You know, I, I ain't never been the type of person to keep one hairstyle. No, three months, I'm every week. I get bored with everything fast, especially my hair. If my hair ain't right, I ain't right. If my hair ain't right, I ain't going. Cancel the whole whatever it is. Um, it wasn't hard because I already, I was doing her. I wasn't a full-time hairstyle. You know, it was, it was just something I was doing on the side to get extra money. So, I kind of had, I already had clientele from that. So with selling her, you know, it was easy to post my hairstyles and, you know, just I was really an ambassador for her. So by me being an ambassador for her, it kind of brought the clientele on its own, if you know what I'm saying. Like, you know, I just used to post videos of my hair. I could be walking through the mall, walking through the grocery store, and somebody would be like, oh, I like your hair. You know, your hair, your curls, your flutter, your color cute. Who you get your hair from? My auntie said her, you know, boom, 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 trade the number. The person come purchase them from her. Once that person come, the next person come. Once that person come, the next person come. You know, I just, you know, just, they promoting, I'm promoting, everybody getting the word out. And, you know, boom. That's how it happened. So, no, it wasn't hard. The second question is, how long you been selling her? We started selling her at, um, end of 2016, beginning of 2017. This one that popped off. The um third question is, is it good money? Yes, ma'am, baby. Yes, ma'am. You can get as much as money as you want to. As much as money as you would like. 
if you if you got the ability to sell these people some hair and you know just be a clientele be a clientele and be able to be persuasive and sell your merchandise you will make money if you can say if you if somebody can take a look at your hair without even touching it just take a look oh girl your hair looks so good you can sell it i'm telling you that's all it is it's it's easy than people think it is people just y'all overthink it um the fourth question is um when was your last job and how do you manage your money my last job was 2017 i worked one day at a warehouse one I work one day at a warehouse. The whole time at the warehouse, I was already selling her for my auntie, but you know, I'm just, you can never have too much money. One day at the warehouse, I went to work. Uh, I couldn't have my phone. I had my phone, and what I signed up for was what they not what they didn't put me in, so I was already irritated from that. So, I, I was like, are you going to come back uh, tomorrow morning? I was like, yeah, I'm going to come back. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh, line i ain't baby i ain't coming back here i had already made that up in my head nope i ain't coming back don't even ask me don't call my phone so i made that my last day uh i think it was like june 2017 my last day of working how do you manage your money um y'all i didn't learn to manage I was never a person to just spend, 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 and not have none. It was just like a, you know, like I said, the money, working a job, the money didn't come as fast as selling her. So, you know, working a job, you kind of like, you know, I got to do this, do this. Then when I get paid, I'll be able to do this. With selling her, it's like, you know, it's money, money, money all day, every day. It's just, it's just generating. So, in the process of making money, I was still, you know, handling, you know, taking care of business and just paying, you know, my monthly fees on whatever I had to pay. I didn't really have many bills, but whatever I had to pay, I paid it. And, you know, between buying, like, you know, clothes and shoes, you know, just the average stuff that you would buy with a job. I was doing it, but it was, a, a more, the more money I would get, the more I would shop. I was, yeah, I was shopping shoes, clothes, shoes, clothes, this, this, that. I was just going ham. So one day I sit down, I'm just like, nah, nah, this ain't right. You know, it's it's cool to buy what you gonna buy, but don't break yourself. If you don't gotta break yourself, don't break yourself. Period. Don't do not break yourself. Um, I manage. I learned how to manage my money when I was just like, okay, I'm gonna send the vendor this much, and when I sell out of that and make the profit out that, I'm gonna send this much. So. This week I'ma send four thousand. Next week I'ma send five thousand. The next week I'ma send six thousand. Next week I'ma spend seven thousand. You know, I learn how to you know generate my money like this so I'll be able to each week I go in put more product. I mean put more money so I can get more product to make more money so I can get more product. You know, it's like kind of like a domino effect. You just that's how I figured out an easy way to manage my money. And I um I cut out all my you know I didn't cut out really just I didn't. I didn't cut out everything just cold turkey. I I slowed down on a lot of unnecessary spending because I was looking around. I was like, I'm just buying this, just buying this, just buying this, and it was. It, I found it being pointless. Like I was just spending pointless money. Just I promise, I was I was just spending pointless money. So you will learn how to manage your money once you look around and be like, oh shit, let let me slow down and get my steps together. That's how I learned. Um, the fifth question is, um, this girl was like, quote unquote, everybody sell her. Do you think it's enough money in the business? You got, I said Walmart. You got Walmart that sell grocery. You got Kroger that sell grocery. You got Cash Saver. You got all these stores that sell grocery. Everybody getting business every day. You got McDonald's. You got, um... You just got a whole bunch of different restaurants that people eat at every day, all day. Is it enough money? Yes, ma'am, it's enough money. You got a hundred doctors. You got a hundred lawyers. You got a hundred teachers. You got a, you, you, it's, yeah, it's car dealerships, everything. So what do you mean? Yes, it's enough money for everybody. It's enough money for everybody. When you go to work at a job, it's not just one employee because just one employee is not getting paid. You got a thousand different employees because... 
everybody generating, you know, some part of the business. So guess what? Everybody gonna get some money. I might not have her today that this person won't, but you got it. No, I don't got no her on hand. Then where they gonna go? Find the next person to put some money in the next person's pocket because they just had work. Yes, it's a lot of money. Don't don't lie. Don't let nobody lie to y'all. It ain't no money in this. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If you if you got the if you got the good enough product, people gonna buy your hair. I'm telling you, it's enough money in this. You just gotta make it. You know, you gotta put yourself in a position to be able to get money. So yes, it is. It is a lot of money in this. It's a lot. The sixth question is. What does it take? If you're not the type of, if you're not a people's person, I'm going to tell you this now. No, it won't work. It, selling her will not work. If you're not a people's person, selling her will not work. And when I say a people's person is you need to be, you know, you need to make the her look fun to deal with. You need to be able to, when people ask you a question, you need to be able to respond and talk to these people you need to you need to you know respect people you need to be able to hold a conversation and let these people know about your product nobody is going to come purchase anything from you if you don't even know about your own product how can i you know trust this stuff to work and you don't even know about it you can't nobody come up to you and tell you oh well what does you know if how long would this you know would this her last if i do such such i don't know i don't know i don't know well, who, who, I, don't worry about it. I'll walk out. Don't, you don't even know about it. So how am I supposed to trust you to be able to buy this? Nah, they just saying like you want to give somebody money. No, 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 no. Selling her, you need communication skills. You need, um, you need to be able to be flexible with people. You need to be able to be honest with people. You need to be able to, um, you know, you, your customer service skills has to be on point. I'm going to tell you this again. If you are not a people's person, being on, you know, one-on-one -on, -one on hand with people will not work. Don't nobody want nobody with a, you know, in their face with a bad attitude. They call your phone to see if you got some hurt, your business phone to come by your shop and you walking up with a stanky attitude. No, no, you need to, you need, people need to be able to, you know, when you call, when you, when they call your phone or when they come to your hair shop, your hair shop, they need to be able to, I must feel loved. Like you want them to buy your hair. Like you, like you need them to buy it. Like. These people are spending their money. This is how you get paid. Why wouldn't you want to act right for your money? Now, don't be, you know, kissing no ass. I'm going to tell you that now. Don't kiss no ass for nobody. Because I didn't I didn't have to, to deal with some people with some odd, you know, bad attitudes and just talking crazy. Like, girl, don't get this twisted, baby. I got the hurt you need. It. Don't play with me. You, you Just how they act right when they come, you know, spend their money. Yes. Give me that sign respect you would give your mama if, and if somebody else if you was coming to spend your money. Just because you're spending your money, don't, don't think you can talk to people any kind of way because that's not the case at all. You can take your money elsewhere and get out of my face. Anyway, do you need a lot of money to start? That's my seventh question. No. You do not need a lot of money to start selling her. It's not a... Direct, oh, you find the vendor and it's, oh, I need 5000 to send it. No. No, you can start off, you can send them people $500. You can send, the, you can send the small amount of $500, y'all, and just go from there. You know, it might be kind of hard to, um, you know, to, you know, just, it's, I want to say it's hard, but if you don't got no money starting off, you can send the least amount. And you could just go from there. And long as you know how to manage your money and be able to profit and send more, you good. You do not need a lot of money. But if you got somebody behind you, they just, oh, let me dump $15,000 into your business. What, baby? You lit, baby, lit. What? Lit. Yes, ma'am, lit. I wish I had somebody behind me that just can dump some money in my business. Yes, ma'am. You, if you good, yeah. It's, it's, it's good to have support behind you in this business because... You know, you put as much money as you want into it. You don't need a lot of money, but if you got somebody behind you, they're just going to, you know, dump a whole bunch of money to your business and help you get off your feet and, you know, get you the stuff that you need. Yes. By all, yes, by all any means. Yes, ma'am. But at the end of the day, you don't need a lot of money. Get you a couple hundred dollars and, you know, send to your vendor and just profit. Profit. Watch your money. Keep up with your sales. Just profit. No, you don't need a lot of money. 
Oh, uh, the eighth question is. Oh, uh, she. I actually wrote that down kind of like twice because I just explained that, you know, as far as the people skills. So, to be honest, I'm going to skip that. And number nine is. How do you get people to trust you with their money as far as pre-orders and online orders? Oh, y'all. Y'all. Um, okay. Okay, that's my battery. Okay. Let me see if it's charging. Is it charging? Um, I, I pray this charging. I, I, I really do pray this charging because it said it wasn't. So let me make this here. Let me hear this up. Um, let me say this again. My number nine question is, how do you get people to trust you as far as pre-orders and online? Yeah. It wasn't, it, it wasn't hard because we started off with selling her on hand. And on hands means if somebody needs some her right now and you got it, they can come pick it up. They don't have to, you know, place the order online or, you know, wait on it. It's no, we had it on hands and we had it on hand for a long, long, long time. So I got my name out there with having her on hands. Nobody never had to order from us. No, we just, we had it like you pull up and you pay and you get your. So when I started doing online sales and pre-orders, it was, it was easy because people had got used to me having it on hands. So if I tell, oh, well, you know, this time you got to order it, it's just like, okay, no problem. Here you go. Wait that little days. And, you know, the her come in. So it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. But how to go about getting people to trust you, yeah, I'm telling y'all, you need to be as active as possible with your customers. If you run a small business and you're taking people's money and, you know, if they ordering or, you know, pre-ordering and you got a website, yeah, please, this is, yeah, please, you have to be active with these people. If these people see you their money on a Wednesday and come Friday, you need to be able to email them and, you know, either with a tracking number or let them know what's going on. I say this because it's a lot of scamming. It's a, yeah, it's a lot of scamming going on nowadays. People will, I'm talking about you will be to stumble upon the best website looking in the world. I'm talking about they can have everything you need and you can order something and never receive it. You can order something and never receive your merchandise. Somebody be the ran up with seven, eight hundred, five hundred, two hundred, something small as twenty dollars. People will run off with your money and it be straight scam. Cap. Straight scammers. Y'all need to be if you run a small business and you and it's hard getting people to trust you with their merchandise and you know their money, y'all be as active as possible with these people. I'm talking about. If they text you in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. in the morning checking on their order and you up, respond. Do not ignore these people because they will get cold feet. They will get cold feet. They will text you. They will call you. People get scared about their money. I'm telling y'all, be as active as y'all can with these people. Be as transparent. If if, if, if they didn't send your money and they heard on the way, but uh, it's a delay in FedEx or UPS or DHL, Y'all need to be as active as possible with these people. You know, send out an email, let these people know, hey, such, 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 you know, the, the order is delayed, I'm sorry about it. You know, just let them know that you care about them and they merchandise. And, yeah, I get it. I'm telling y'all, I get a lot of compliments every day, all day. Thank you for being, um, you know, update me on the process. Like, I'm telling y'all, be as active as y'all can with y'all customers. That is the easiest way to get people to trust y'all. I'm telling y'all. It's the easiest way. Be as active as you can. As active. Um, number 10. Any good advice you want to give the upcoming hair companies? Anybody look after looking to sell hair? All you gotta do is, I'm telling y'all, find your vendor. Your good your your main vendor might not even be your first vendor. Find you a vendor. Test the hair. Test it. Test it. Test it. You need to perm it. You need to wash it. You need to blow dry. You need to bleach it. You need to over bleach the hair. I literally over bleach some hair to see exactly how much bleach it could take before it started damaging. I bleached the hair probably about five times. And after that, you know, it started damaging. But that's what I needed it to do. So when somebody tell me, well, well, how much, how many times uh, if I bleached this hair before it started damaging, I could tell them, oh, you know, do it about a good three or four times. And after that, you know, if you keep, you know, if you keep bleaching it, it will start damaging to let them know, you know, how far to go on, on that hair. You need to be able to flat iron it, curl it, everything. Test your hair, but don't, don't sell anything. Because once you take people money, 
once you take people money, they want to, um, you know, once you take their money, they need their merchandise to be as good as what they pay for. They need their merchandise to be as good, so you need to be able to let these people know what this hurt can and can't do. If they ask you a question before they pay, let them know. Be as transparent as you can. What'd she say? Oh, do you ever see yourself working again? I don't know what God got me got planned for me in the future. But um I don't I honestly I don't wanna work again. If 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 I go somewhere and clock in and go to work, I need it to be my establishment. I need it to be walking there with the key. I'm the boss. Telling y'all. I'm gonna give you a little backstory. I was working at Dixie Queen. Uh I I started Dixie Queen probably about my last day of high school. I left school after I finished all my tests. My mama got me the job at Dixie Queen. I went to my interview at 12, y'all. I started work at 4 o'clock. From, I want to say like May, in the middle of May 2015, all the way to the May again 2016, y'all. I bust my ass. Night and day, I work long hours. I missed out on a lot, y'all. Y'all, I made seven twenty-five. I ain't never get a check from Dixie Queen over five hundred. And I'm talking about if if my check was five hundred, that was y'all. I I didn't work over over eighty hours. Like I didn't work y'all. I'm talking about I was going to work pulling sixteen hours shifts for real. For y'all for chump change, chump change. Now I make five hundred dollars in ten minutes. Come on now, I would, baby, I, I ain't never, I ain't gonna say I ain't never, but no, no, I'm, I'm, it's only up from here, I can't, I, I ain't gonna be able to do that, if I go back to work, I need to be as making good as money as I'm making now, if I'm working somewhere, I don't know what God got, got planned for me in the future, I ain't gonna say that I ain't gonna never do nothing, you know, that I don't wanna do, but I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't wanna work again, working for yourself, making your own schedule, I wake up every day, and do what I want to do. You know, I, I handle my business and I go to work. You know, I actually, it's work. This is, you know, selling her is work to me. I have to get up, you know, you know, get the order from the FedEx truck. Or, you know, even if I don't have an order for today, they're coming in. I have to, you know, anybody that wants from her, I got to, you know, do a job. I got to get this money. I got to sell, sell people that her, you know, when the business is flowing. It's just... Yeah, working for yourself, you will never, never want to clock back in. You will never want to clock back in. Never, never. Working for yourself, baby, no. No, it's like I would get, I would honestly, if I had to go back to a job and I got, you know, like a manager or something in my ear trying to tell me what to do, I'd be to hit somebody in the face, for real. Like I'd be to hit somebody in the face because, yeah, until you run your own business, you never know what it feel like. For um, you know, you never know what it feel like to wake up every day and make your own money without having to clock in. I make my own money from the comfort of my home, literally. Like I sit on the couch, on my computer, on my little laptop, and my phone that I'm on there. Y'all, I'm, I'm, yeah. My bank statement's up there. They up there, for real. They up there. I, don't, I, I honestly, I honestly. I don't want to go back to work for nobody else. I just need to, um, you know, I need, you know, get into the business as far as, you know, getting business partners, working with other people. But as far as working for, like, a company and making chump change, no. As long as they sell her, I'm selling it. Period. Um. Anyways, number 12. Do you need business license to sell her? No. I didn't. I didn't have business licenses when I first started selling her. I just got business license when I made my website and you know getting a bank account, you know a business bank account and stuff. But no, you do not need business license to sell her. If you um, if you in a small town, well not even a small town. If you just wherever you live, and you want to start selling her and you want to just you know get your feet wet. Like I said, order you some her, get your name out there, and if people start asking, hey yeah, I got her. You can pull up and get right now. They pull up, they get their hair, 
and you know you just making your sales like that keeping your money flow like that you don't you don't have to have business license to start selling her no you don't i didn't i didn't i didn't number 13 do you have to have all the fancy stuff to start i asked her what kind of fancy stuff she was like um you know as far as like thank you cards and thank you bags and you know t-shirts and stuff i was like no no let me tell you something i be i be on facebook and instagram and i be seeing people when you know with that you know it's cute and you know it's it's good for business but at the end of the day these people are coming to buy hair they're coming to buy hair they don't care what's on the bag they only care what's in the bag they don't care about no pen they don't care about no cup people not even reading thank you cards you don't need you don't need all that fancy stuff if you don't have the money for that don't make nobody feel like you you need that you need to get these people their merchandise because once they take the label off the her once they take this world band and label off the her and install this guess what it's doing getting swept up right in the trash on their stylist flow and going in the garbage nobody is holding on to that so you know i don't think you really need is make sure you got you a, a label tag so some people can uh can tell what inch it is, you know, as far as installing it and all of that. But, um, all of them cups and t-shirts and thank you bags and, um, pins. No, 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 no. People care about the hair. They want the hair. They don't care about nothing else but what they styling into their head. These people ain't reading all of them, I'm telling y'all. They throwing this stuff on the, they give it to the stylist, putting it on the floor. They ain't saving this for no, um... No scrapbook or nothing. They don't care about that. No, you don't need all of that. If you got the money to and you, you know, you want to advertise your stuff like that, yeah, by all any means. You know, make your stuff fun. Make people think, you know, once they come by that hair, they got a, you know, little thank you card because we actually, you need to appreciate your customers so, but them people don't care about all that. If they didn't, first, if, if they didn't had your hair before or, you know, it's just something quick to come pick up to get that hair done, baby. They snatching their labor off and it's going on the floor, putting them tracks in, and that stuff is going in the garbage. So, no, you don't need all that fancy stuff, no. Just just get you a label and a little, you know, a little bag to carry out when they do it. But, no, you don't need all of that. Um, how do you get your name hot out there and get started? I didn't really have to do nothing. Like I said, uh, I was already changing my hair up a lot. You know, I had already had uh, people to, you know, you know, just from my city to follow me. And, you know, I, I kept my hair decent. So it was easy for people to, you know, it was easy for me to get noticed and people to notice. Once I put the, once I put that memo out there, oh, hey, come get your bonus from me. And you upload a video with, you know, some, some inches and some curls and a little flat iron, a little color. You know, people going to get interested anyways. Especially if you got it on hand. Um, I actually, I was making sales. Like, uh, like I'm pretty kind of popular in my city. I live in Memphis, so, um, I'm... I'm I'm kind of popular as far as the her thing. I'm kind of popular. Like my business is kind of popular. It's small to the world, but it's it's kind of popular in my city. Um, if you just starting out, yeah, make this as fun as possible. If you just starting out, don't don't be afraid to do giveaways and don't be afraid to um you know if it's something that's selling your hair for cheap. Get your feet wet, get out there, get your name out there. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it or, you know, don't let, no, first of all, don't let nobody scare you because the average person that's, you know, telling you the, you know, people going to tell you the good and bad things, but anybody that's kind of speaking down on you, oh my God, these people messed up my nails. Oh, my bad. Um, anybody comes to telling you, you know, the what you can't do and none of this and this, no, no, baby, no. Get your name out there. Get you some customers, get your feet wet, do you some giveaways, do you a pop-up shop, make you videos, promote, promote. Nobody wants you to get no money but yourself. People want to, I always remember, people want to see you doing good but not better than them. It's, it's up to you. It's up to you to make your life as, you know, as peaceful as possible financially. 
if it, it's up to you. If you want to wake up today and be like, oh, well, I need some more clientele, you know, let me go on live and do a, a giveaway. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do, do you a giveaway. Do you a raffle ticket because guess what? One thing about black people, baby, we want some free. Sure do. You said word free, where is it? Free? Oh, I'm coming. If it's free, well, trust me. We, we tuning in to it, period. Get your feet wet. Don't be dumb telling you. Don't be scared to promote your stuff because guess what? Ain't nobody gonna make sure you straight, period. Don't let nobody tell you nothing about getting no money because guess what? At the end of the day, when they get done talking to tell you don't do this and how to do this and this and that, now ain't nobody gonna make sure you straight. Ain't nobody gonna check on you to make sure your business stuff paid. Baby, no ma'am. Uh-uh. The last question is, um, what you say? Have you ever got any negative reviews? And if so, how do you deal with them? Yes, 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 yes. I have got negative reviews. Not more than positive out of, out of I'm going to say out of 100 good reviews, out of 100 reviews and all, it's probably about 10 bad reviews. If you selling something, anything. If you selling anything. When I tell you, if you selling anything, as long as the good outweighs the bad, keep going. As long as the good outweighs the bad. Now, if you selling something, it's bad, 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 good. Bad, 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 good. No. You need good, 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 bad. Good, 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 bad, good. As long as the good outweighs the bad, then you good. Um, How do I deal with them? I try to be y'all. Yeah, I try to be as understanding as possible when it comes to this hair. I check on my customers. I ask them, you know, once they do purchase, I thank them for purchasing. Um, I ask them to, you know, send me uh, videos and pictures. And once they do, how's the hair? How you how the hair holding up? And majority, you know, most of the time, oh, it's good, you know. But some people, like y'all, yeah, some people do not know how to treat her. People tell me I don't know nothing about her. I need you to guide me through everything. I talk to I y'all. I wake up talking to people about her. I go to sleep talking to people about her. I go to the store. Y'all, I y'all. I, I was in line at the movies one day, and somebody asked me about some her, and I gave her my number. I talk about her all day, every day. I try to be as understanding as possible. If somebody comes to me and tell me that they experienced a bad bitch. If you don't know what a bad batch is, a bad batch is when, like I said, we getting this hair from a whole nother country. This, no, this is not being cut off my head. No, I ain't going nowhere and shaving this off an animal. No, I don't grow this. No, I am getting this for, from somebody else. Somebody else is sending it to me and I am putting an extra price on it to be able to, you know, sell it where I live. This didn't come out of my head. So, and, I, and, and with all the bonus that I get in the mail and in my packages, I cannot test everything that come out of this, y'all. I cannot, from, I test every, y'all, I'm not going to say y'all nothing. I won't buy. From my experience, yes, I have good hair. From my experience, I have good hair. I wouldn't say y'all nothing that I won't buy. I have been, this, I, yeah, I've been so honest with somebody one time, one time the vendor, um, I ain't gonna lie, she sent, um, it was, she sent some, like, three bundles. It was, like, in one little bag. And I was, you know, just playing around with the hair. And, y'all, when I tell y'all, I pulled the bundle out the bag. And as soon as I ran my finger through it, it was shedding. I put the hair to the side. Oh, no, I ain't selling it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I caught it because, you know, I was just. Like I said, I was just playing with the hair. I just ran my fingers through it. But it was, if if I know it ain't right, I will never take nobody money. I ain't going to never take nobody, nobody money if it's not right. Because, first of all, this not right. If you know this product finna get these people a problem before you, you before they buy it. And then when they buy it, don't act surprised when they say it's a problem. Because you know. But far as I know, yeah, I got some good hair. So when I sell it to y'all, this is the same hair that I've been, you know, that I've been, uh... This the same hair that I've been having since I first started. I ain't really too much experience, nothing bad. But like I said, it's bad, bitch. I can't, you know, test everything that come out of here. I, I, I can't. It's impossible. 
If somebody, oh, I'm finna come get three buns in the closet. Hold up, girl. Wait, let me let me color it. Let me flatter in this out to make sure you ain't gonna do this. No, this that, that that's crazy. You don't supposed to tamper with people hurt. This crazy. So, um, when people come to me with a bad review, you know, I ask them because it's like some people don't know how to treat their hair. So I just, you know, start off, um, you know, they'll text me, hey, this her shedding, or hey, this her tangling, or you know, hey, the hair is dry. You know, some what do you use on it? What you wash your hair with? Um, you know, you know, I just try to, you know, get down to the last problem or the, you know, the last solution, as I want to say, the last solution, and you know, ask them questions on how they've been treating the hair. You know, just, um, because like I said, the hair is not always bad. Some people don't know how to treat their hair. If you don't know, you're supposed to wash your hair. You need to put oil on your hair. This is not if if you if you if you wet your real hair, don't blow dry, don't nothing, just go about your day. For people that yeah, you know, fur, you know, this fairly decent hair, it's probably okay. But um my hair, my real hair, I'm not gonna lie, it's nappy. If I wet my hair and don't blow dry, don't comb through it, don't nothing, and just go about my day. Nappy. Nappy. On the floor, crunchy. All of it. Yes, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hectic. It's gonna get real, real bad for me. I have to oil my hair. I have to comb through it uh, with wigs. I have to make sure it's braided down because if you don't do nothing to your hair, how do you expect for it to just give you you know be good to you if you let your hair get real dry and comb through it what it's gonna do it's gonna break off you need to you you need to have oil on your hair if you let weave get real dry and you comb through it it's gonna break off you can't sleep in your hair for a, a, a whole four days in a ponytail and expect us to take it out and oh no no, no, you didn't slip on this a hundred days. You didn't have sex in it. You didn't want to work, honey. You didn't exercise. You didn't do all of this in this hair. And no, ma'am, you need to be able to give your hair TLC, tender love and care. Wash it. You know, you know, treat your hair like you pay good money for it. And if it's bad hair, then it's just bad hair. But I have to. I try to get down to the, you know, the the main solution of what the hair is doing and if i can't help that person because nine times out of ten i am helping people you know wash it with this let it air dry use this kind of oil do this do that and you know once you do that get back with me so you know keep updating me on how the hair is and if it's just nothing i could do or you know the hair just is it's just horrible from the get-go i used to um either give people half of that money back or uh get them a fresh batch I had to learn the hard way. People are liars. People are scammers. And now it's all sales are final. Because I have had somebody to lie like the her was giving them a problem just so they can get their money back and go get the her done. Yes, it's, yes, it has happened to me. It, it has happened to me. So now it's like a, oh, I, I ain't gonna say one person messed it up for all, but now I got to be, you know, now I got to put my foot down because it's like, like I said, this is not mine. I can't test everything. So if if she put the word out that she lied about, um, you know, a, something being wrong with her, she got half of her money back. Um, the, she gonna tell the next person, the next person gonna do it, and then they're gonna my dumb ass sending them their money back. So it's just like a, it's, it's me losing money. And, but my vendor still getting paid. So my vendor send whatever they want to send. And meanwhile, I'm selling it. And when the person that's buying it got a problem with it, I got to send my money back over there because they don't like it. I can't send my money back. So, you know, I'm sorry. I try to help people as much as possible, but all sales are final. All sales are final. Pretty much it. Honestly, I didn't want to make the video too long, but that's pretty much it. Um, my personal experience, and I'm pretty sure it's you know it's probably more questions y'all want to ask or you know any other thing, anything that I missed out that y'all might need me to you know retouch on or be more specific on. Inbox me, um, DM me, 
leave a comment or something like it's just um like i said i'm just getting started with this youtube stuff and i wanted to make this my first video to you know let y'all know my personal experience on you know just you know just generating a small business even if it's not long term for y'all you know just don't, don't be scared to try it yes it's money in it for everybody um don't get in it though just for the money because sometimes it take um it take like i find myself y'all i lose money every day i find myself sometimes losing money more than i put in it why because i'm that passionate if i miss if, if i got an order for today and i miss that fedex truck i'm on the ass i have literally pulled up on my fedex driver on his break at taco bell let me get that package i need that package off that truck let me get that I got orders. These people waiting on their merchandise. I need that. Let me get that. You need to be dead, ride or die to your, you know, about your business. I done stood in long lines. I done staked out. I done waited. I done, um, it just, y'all, you need to be as passionate as possible about your business. This, this your, at the end of the day, that's their merchandise. But this is how you make your money. This is how you pay your business. This is how you, if you got children, this is how you feed your children. If you don't want lack, you need to be on your business when it can this. Don't lack. Don't lack. Do not lack. If when, when you when you let up, that's when you lose clientele. You need to be on on your business. I'm telling y'all, like it get hectic. It get it. I done did it all. It get it gets hectic, baby. It gets hectic. Um, like I was saying, you just need to be be passionate. Get in it for the right reason. Don't make it seem like it's just all about the money because let your customers know that you care about them. You need to be able. They need to be able to. You know. If something wrong with the hair, don't get offended. If they tell you, oh, the hair shed, don't, uh, this motherfucking hair ain't shed. No. Talk to them. Let them know what they can do. Let them, you know, just be transparent, communicate, and be as understanding as possible. Some people don't know nothing about her, y'all. Some people don't know nothing about her. People will wash their hair with washing powder if they, if, if they don't know nothing about it, if they, they think it's going to get it clean. Some people don't know nothing about her, so you need to just be as, you know, Communicate with these people. That's all I'm going to say. Some, it get frustrated. I'm telling y'all, get frustrated a lot. I have been through it all. The money problems, the, the land orders, the somebody that even stole one of my packages from FedEx. I done been through it all. And I'm just still a smaller business. I done been through it all. So, you know, just have patience for your business. Don't give up on your... You know, if it's something that you feel like, oh, I, ain't, I, I just don't want to do it. You know, that's you. But if you got faith in your business, don't give up on your business. Promote. Promote, 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 promote. Get your name out there. Get your feet wet. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. Because at the end of the day, nobody's going to pop up. Make sure your bills paid, your children fed. Ain't nobody going to do that for you. So uh, just be passionate about whatever it is that you ain't even got to be selling her. Be passionate about whatever it is that you're doing. And just let your customers know that you're there. And yeah. Run your business like you want to keep making money. Run your business like you want to keep making money. I'm going to close this video out because that's pretty much it for today. This video will probably be on another topic or something like that. Or, you know, this you can subscribe to this channel. And I had a lot of stuff planned. Like, y'all, I've been looking into YouTube for a long time now. And today, just my, I didn't, y'all, I didn't, as you can see, I didn't got used to the camera with like that. So, just... I have a lot of different, you know, content for y'all and different, different videos and topics and, um, you know, action videos. It's just, it, it'll be a lot on this channel, so subscribe, you know, get with the program, get with the movement, um, yeah, so just, I thank y'all for watching, you know, I hope you watched the video, and I'm going to see y'all later in a whole nother video. I need y'all to get y'all some hair from Most Popular Hair Extensions. I'm going to leave um, the website down in the, in the description. I need y'all to follow me on Instagram, Lily underscore Nicole. Follow me on Twitter, Lily underscore Nicole. Snapchat, Pretty Lily 2. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Thanks.